So uh, Wake With Us is uh, it's a worker placement style game uh, where about bees making honey. Uh, all of the workers are little D6s, little bees. We've had some special little uh, bee dice made. Uh, every turn you'll roll your bees and whatever the values are on the dice dictate where they can be placed on the display. Uh, they trigger a number of different actions. You can get more rooms to make your beehive bigger. You can get eggs to hatch into more dice. You have more dice to roll later on in the game. Um, you can collect this nectar that's stacked up here in the middle. There are six flowers, six colours. You need to collect the nectar to make honey. Uh, honey is what wins the game. Uh, and there's some more actions there, trading with the bank. And at the end there, drawing these uh, cards, uh, special uh, action cards that do um, a variety of cool things, sort of bending the rules of the game or breaking the game. Um, all one sort of effects. Um, ultimately the game's about making honey. Um, we've set so variable victory conditions so you can decide how long you want to play for. Um, five, seven or nine uh, honey. And the first person to hit that total is uh, will win the game. Wow. Quick and easy. And how many players does it play? Uh, two to four. Uh, and it works equally well with two, three or four. The, you block off some of the positions for uh, less players so it still feels competitive. And you said you can kind of control how long it will take, so right. yeah. what time frame? Uh, so we break down for the, for the short game, for the five honey game, which will take about an hour for people that know the game. Maybe a bit longer for your first play if you don't know it, but it's very easy to pick up. Um, the, the bigger issue is uh, it is actually quite strategic. There are lots of decisions to make. Yeah. Uh, you have to watch what your opponents are doing and it can get quite deep quite quickly for experienced gamers. Uh, they'll be thinking a lot about what they're going to do. Exactly, I see it there. Yeah, cool. So, so yeah, so we really want to make a game uh, which was as accessible as possible. Um, so it's published in uh, four languages. So uh, we published this is in uh, English, French, German, and Polish. Um, all the colours that we're using um, in Michael Dance looks so colourful, um, but all the colours are completely colourblind, um, uh, kind of chosen for colourblind people. Oh, wow, that's so great. Wanted to kind of show that that can be done and still make it look. So they'll be really able to fabulous. tell the difference between the colours. Yeah, even absolutely. Um, obviously, we've got uh, we wanted all the uh, the illustrations to show how the game is played, um, and uh, so it's explained through pictures rather than through words. So. So with the with some of these cards here, so we have uh, when you uh, when you make honey, you uh, put nectar in your honey in your uh, cube, and then you need to when you're assigning your your bee dice, you need to put two of the same colour on there. So this one allows you to make honey with just three nectar rather than four nectar. Um, this one allows you to um, collect an extra nectar when you're um, uh, on the flowers, so you can use that. Um, this one here allows you to um, uh, change any one B dice into another B dice or B6. Um, so you can use it as any number. So they're all kind of as straightforward as they possibly can be, um, which kind of shows how the game works in that sense. Fantastic. Hmm. You have beautiful dice here. So the comments, that e even the little kits on the dice are little hexes, like oh, yes. you have in a beehive. That's, yeah. that's gorgeous. A yeah. fantastic little detail there. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, yeah, it's um, this is our second game. Uh, so, we were at Spiel uh, last year releasing uh, Cornish Smuggler. Um, so, uh, we wanted to try something very different with Waggle Dance. We tried to make it as literally like the perfect um, entry gateway game. Um, so, it's, it does appeal to as many people as possible, and you can really kind of bring people into it. So, not just from uh, a gamer experience level, um, as Mike was saying, you can get quite deep, but it's also very accessible um, for younger players. Um, but also with the artwork itself. So we wanted something which kind of looks technical but colourful, but maybe look a little bit Minecraft. So yeah, it kind of works in that sense, yeah, which I is see it. which works. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank cool. you so much. Looks really great. And and the language independency is fantastic. I'm sure you can get a hold of uh, of X rules online. If oh yeah, you, if absolutely. You buy so, it and don't speak. Yeah, Any absolutely. So we've got um, online rules um, in Dutch, Japanese, Chinese, uh, Swedish, Italian, Spanish, um, and we're working on a whole load of others right now. So yeah, we can do this. There you go. Cool. That's Waggle Dance from uh, Grubbling Games. Thank you so much. Thank you.